You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Turning now to that devastating tornado outbreak that sliced through the south. Since Friday, there have been more than two dozen locations reporting tornado damage in five states. This is what you're seeing behind us in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. A monster EF4 tornado ripping the city to shreds, killing more than 20 people. This afternoon, the town nearly unrecognizable. Businesses leveled, homes destroyed. Erwin McCone uh, miraculously survived after he says a carpet shielded him from flying debris. And that carpet was over me, and I just threw the carpet off. You see, there's nothing. I don't know how I stayed here holding on to this floor. Ooh. Okay, in Armory, Mississippi, school surveillance video capturing the moment an EF3 tornado ripped through the hallways there with winds of up to 155 miles per hour. Debris raining from the ceiling. Meanwhile, dozens of power crews scrambling to get the lights back on to the few homes and the few businesses that are still standing. We also know that FEMA is on the ground pledging to help. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Nate Larson. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Just wild weather across the country here. We continue to add to record snowfall. Piling it on, Nate. <laughs> I think we'll take the snow over those uh, damaging winds, no right? Doubt. So yep. uh, certainly feeling for those folks that have been impacted by the tornadoes recently. Snowfall across northern Utah, though, definitely uh, impacting drivers this morning. This is what it looked like earlier outside the studio. Uh, our own Tracy Smith out capturing the ABC4 snow globe. Yeah, it was coming down. Didn't measure a whole lot of new snow uh, south of a lot of Davis County. Now, eastern benches in Salt Lake County did do pretty well. But overall, we've just seen a tremendous amount of moisture in Weber Davis counties with our storm system. And of course, it all stacks up, adding to our water year, which runs from October 1 to September 30th of this year. All areas doing well above normal. So right now, Salt Lake, 11.05 uh, inches of moisture. Usually we're at 8.46 this time of year. Cedar City, over an 11 inches of moisture. Over over 12 inches in Logan, Moab over almost nine inches of moisture there. Typically, they're about four and a half, so more than double the amount of moisture that they typically see. And of course, our snowpack is about double what it typically is where we're talking about 194% of normal, where we've just got a tremendous amount of moisture up in our mountain area. So again, no big changes to the snowpack numbers, still at 302% of normal across the southwest portion. So those Pine Valley Mountains are really seeing a tremendous amount of snow compared to what they typically see about this time of year. So with all snow stacking up. Of course, uh, Brighton has a record season, 780 inches, Alta 759. Solitude now joining the ranks, 703 inches, so they hit the 700 mark. 538 inches at Deer Valley. Incredible amounts of snow. Snow Basin, 504. We talked about that. Sundance now joining the ranks with record snowfall at 442 inches of moisture, and we have more mountain snow that we're tracking later in the week. So, uh, for now, increasing southwest flow. Lots of sunshine throughout the remainder of the afternoon and evening. Clear skies overnight, but it will start to become partly cloudy tomorrow. Temperatures are going to warm up with southwest flow increasing ahead of this next trough that's going to be here on Wednesday. Let's time it out for you with future cast. High pressure in place then, a westerly to a southwest transition. This is tomorrow about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll see some partly cloudy skies. The trough starts to slide inland. As it does, it will bring again some stronger winds across the western part of the state. Not quite strong enough to see wind advisories. It's going to be quite, it's going to be quite blustery though tomorrow into Wednesday. Rain showers will start to fill in across the north, impacting portions of southern Utah Wednesday afternoon into the evening hours. Cold front sweeps through. We should start to see some wraparound moisture. Northwest flow picking up into Thursday might see more of a wintry mix with some cooler air. But for the most part, this is going to be a rain event for the valleys. Mountains should see a healthy amount of snow. Moisture potential. Again, most areas picking up a good uh, tenth, maybe even a quarter of an inch of rain in the valleys. Some areas could get closer to a half of an inch. The mountain area is expected to see feet of snow. No. In fact, some of the latest model runs, this is through Friday afternoon, so by the time the event's done, another one to two feet possible along some of the mountain areas of the Beehive State. St. George, 65 tomorrow. We drop to 51 with the rain. Plan on showers Wednesday, Thursday, clearing out nicely for the weekend. Lots of sunshine this weekend. It's going to feel very much like spring with 70 on Sunday. 71's the average high for St. George. Wasatch Front looking at uh, partly cloudy skies, 52, 55 on Wednesday. Windy conditions, dropping temperatures into the mid-40s as we get into the rest of the week, 54 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't look too bad, but we have moisture increasing Sunday with rain. Rain and snow showers dropping to 45 on Monday next week as well. Guys.